Hey guys, it's Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the new and improved PCS-150 and PCS-250 powder coat guns. A system like this one is going to be great for anybody starting out with powder coating. If you're just a beginner, this is going to be a great option for you. This is going to give you a great finish no matter what it is you're trying to coat. And at the same time, it's going to be both easy to use and budget friendly. First things first, before we dive into the specifics with both of these guns and mainly their similarities, let's dive into why you would want to powder coat something versus why you would want to paint something. Now powder coating is a great way to breathe pretty much new life into anything really, given that the part you're powder coating can hold up to the 400 degree temperature required to fully cure it. Now powder coating has some huge advantages over paint. Number one, it's more durable, which is something to consider if you're powder coating something on the underneath of your car, thinking about stone chips here. It's also more flexible than paint, which makes it great for anything that moves, springs, suspension components, hood hinges, stuff like that. If you make a mistake with powder coat, you can simply blow it off and start over as good as new. It doesn't have any chemicals in it that can harm the environment, and cleaning it up is as easy as sweeping it off the shop floor. Diving into what Eastwood has to offer, over here we have the PCS-150. This is going to be the more sort of basic starter model that's going to output 15,000 volts. Now over here we have the PCS-250. This is going to feature two settings. You get that basic 15,000 volt option. That's going to work really well for the tighter spots, help you get around that Faraday cage effect, and a larger 25,000 volt setting. If you're putting down multiple coats, working in big flat areas, that's going to be the setting that you want to use. Makes that really quick and easy to cover. Otherwise, these two guns are going to function the exact same. But while we're on the topic of differences, let's take a closer look at the PCS-250. The power control box on the PCS-250 is going to feature that rocker switch on the bottom, allowing you to jump between those two voltage settings really, really quickly, depending on what you need. Now for the tight spots, let's talk a little bit about the Faraday cage effect. As a rule of thumb, powder is electrically charged. It's going to flow into the area of least resistance, which makes the tight corners a little bit tough to get to. 15,000 volt setting, which both these guns do have. This one just allows you to swap between the two. That 15,000 volt is gonna be what you want for that and helps sort of mitigate that Faraday cage effect. These guns also feature a removable diverter tip. So if you leave that on, it'll sort of give you a plume of powder. Again, that makes the tight spots really easy to get to. You're just basically covering the whole thing in a cloud of powder. If you wanted to take that off, you get more of a straight shot. And again, that's gonna be good for laying down powder coat quickly in large flat areas. This gun also features a redesigned grounding clamp. Now, as we all know, powder coating works because the powder particles are electrically charged. They seek a grounded surface as charged particles always seek to return to a neutral state. So having a good solid ground connection is extremely vital. This grounding clamp is a little bit larger, a little bit easier to use as well, which is gonna help ensure you have that solid ground connection. Now, this right here, this is your handheld activation switch. This is what's gonna give your gun the power to make that electrical charge that you need to get that powder to stick. And all the wires are color coded as well. So that makes it really easy when you go to pick something up, you know exactly what it is you're gonna get. Lastly, let's talk a little bit about this powder bottle. First of all, it's clear, so you can see exactly how much powder you have left. It's also shifted forward a little bit when compared to the old gun gives you about an extra half an inch of space in there, which is gonna make this gun over the long term a little bit easier and more comfortable to work with. Now, no matter which one of these you go with, both of the kits are going to include the gun, one powder bottle, the power supply, the grounding wire, the activation switch, and a solid one-year warranty. Now, do keep in mind, if this is your first time, there are a few other startup costs, but they're cheap and easy to find. They include a small compressor. The Eastwood Pancake Compressor is a great budget-friendly option. An electric oven to bake your parts in, a pressure regulator, an air filter, and of course, some powder. And if you really are just starting out, Eastwood has a great beginner's powder coating guide with some really great information in it. We'll have that link down below, as well as links to all the products you saw in this video today. As always, guys, I'm Joe. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right. Thank you.